Why would you make an eyeshadow that stains though? When I first saw this comment, I'm not gonna lie, my initial reaction was like, girl, BFFR, we've been over this so many different times over the last several years. But then I thought to myself, you know what? This might be an actual genuine question and a lot of people might not know the answer to this. So let me be James Knight, the science guy and educate you a little bit. So when eyeshadows are manufactured, they are obviously made with different ingredients and the ingredient that goes into them that actually give the eyeshadow their color are called pigments. So pigments are all made in different ways and each pigment is going to give you a different color. Uh, so they can be made from raw materials in the earth, such as plants or different gemstones and stuff like that. Uh, one of the biggest ones is called carmine, which is made from crushed up beetles. It gives you a red color. Uh, and of course there's also synthetically made or man-made pigments that are created in a lab. And those are the ones that give you like the really, really bright rainbow colors that are more popular in makeup today. Nowadays, a lot of brands are choosing to be cruelty free and vegan which i think is amazing my brand will be as well but when you make that decision you can no longer use certain pigments such as crushed up beetles <laughs> so you have to use the synthetic or man-made pigments instead which is fine because it gives you really really bright colors but the problem is the fda does not approve of all pigments if you're thinking to yourself of course they would never approve crushed beetles you'd be incorrect it's the synthetically made pigments that are the problem because they have ruled that any synthetic pigment that stains your eyeballs or your face is not safe for use which to me personally is like the most ridiculous thing on planet earth i mean you drink a gatorade or have a sour candy and your tongue is stained we are all obsessed with spray tanning in america which the whole point of that is to literally stain your entire body so i don't understand why when it comes to eyeshadow it's now a problem but apparently it is and that's why so many palettes have this on the back of them where it says pressed pigments and then a little icon right here that says not for use on the eyes and if it's labeled a pigment palette or an artistry palette instead of an eyeshadow palette it's the same thing same thing with color palette. Now, obviously I have used my own palette as well as all the other palettes that I just showed so many times over the last several years doing my makeup. I have never once had a problem. Of course, my eyes have gotten stained many times, but that's what you sign up for when you do crazy, bright, colorful makeup looks. You kind of know that it's gonna happen and it's really not a big deal to me. I just clean my face well and shower and it comes off. I personally do not feel like staining is a problem. I know that most other makeup consumers do not either, uh, but unfortunately the FDA disagrees. I wish they would change their stance on this. I feel like it is very outdated, but until then it is what it is. And it's up to us as consumers to make educated decisions on the products that we buy. The one good thing is that all makeup legally has to have the ingredient list on the packaging. So if you know that you're allergic to something or if you know that something kind of affects your skin in a way that you don't like, simply just don't buy that product. I wish that I could make eyeshadows that don't stain, but unfortunately to get the best colors and the best formulas, sometimes it's not always possible. Hope that answered your question.